without blabbing, I know what you want to see. Well, hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. As you can probably tell, this is a very, very different one because we are in New York City. And I actually just wanted to say hello to you. That's the whole background of this video. I just wanted to say hello. I wanted to update you on a few things and because I realized, so today is my official second day of New York Fashion Week. I started transferring the material from Fashion Week already on my, like to my computer just to see like, you know, how we're doing, what we're doing, what I'm filming. And I realized that I had 40 minutes of content from two days of New York Fashion Week, 40 minutes. I literally feel like I need to be stopped. And there's so much more than I want to share and I want to show you and like, it does doesn't even include like big like tours and room tours and showing you what I brought and all of that it's just literally that there's so much going on in New York like oh it's also going to be very long I'm doing like I don't know I'm gonna stay here for a week and I think that overall I'm gonna see like 11 12 shows something like that if I'm not mistaken it's not even too much I'm very thirsty and I stocked up on the best thing in the world I don't know if you guys agree and it's this cooking coconut water from Trader Joe's. It's insane. I am obsessed, okay? I probably drink like four or five of these per day, but when it's fashion week, you really need to stay hydrated. And I have to say that that's one thing that I'm not good at, staying hydrated. So, mm. when it's this delicious, like pink coconut water, it's just so easy. You know what I mean? Anyway, I have a few things to show you and tell you. First things first, let me show you my outfit because I really love it. I'm wearing for the first time ever this corset, which is from The Row and these pants that you've seen in my last My Three Sub vlog. You guys probably know this already if you follow my stories, but you will find out more when you start watching my New York Fashion Week vlog. It's that my journey to New York was like the most horrific one that I've ever had in my entire life. And that's thanks to Mercury Retro grade i feel like it was just very very like overwhelming and everything happened at the same time and then i arrived here like fashion week started i mean i don't know like i lived in the uk and i, I still live in the uk technically for majority of my life and to hear that the queen elizabeth ii died was even though she was 96 was very very sad because she was just like such a huge part like of every household i would say in england like you know it's probably a little bit distant to other countries I don't know I don't know how it feels in other countries but personally uh, for me like we just kind of never thought this day would come never thought like you know you somehow we felt like Queen's always gonna be there you know living in England for so many years also like shared certain traditions and one of them was like I'll never forget during like 2020 the Queen's speech the Christmas speeches like obviously if you watch the Netflix I watched all the documentaries you know like the crown etc and it just makes you feel very like if you know a lot despite like obviously some people agree and some people disagree with the royal family and they're like okay we do not support this or we do not support that but there's like that persona that you feel like it's always in your life you know anyway so yeah a lot of like kind of things happened as I arrived in New York it was not easy I have to say but we managed and as I arrived actually on my second day of travel had a flight delay I mean it would not be normal if there was no flight delay of course I decided to do a bit of shopping at Heathrow terminal which is what I want to show you I have a bit of Cartier unboxing and to show you what I got at Chanel but first things first I want to show you my view which i think is out of this world now look at this guys isn't it beautiful this is the view from my room and the sun is like it's really strong now but over there you see like uptown and here you see hudson obviously when it's new york we, well when it's fashion week we always always require like a big room because so many things that i bring but hello new york city and then over here you can see like the bags that I brought with me. I brought like some pairs of sunglasses, few pairs of sunglasses. I brought my two mini Kellys. This one thing that I forgot to tell you in my journey is that I wanted to travel with the gold mini Kelly. And guys, I arrived at the airport. I was gonna pay the driver. And I realized that I forgot my wallet at home with my keys and everything else that was packed in here. And my driver was like, but do you have your passports? And I have, I have my passports, but I don't have my wallet. I cannot go to New York without my wallet. So yeah, that was like the first obstacle. But then he brought me the whole bag. So that was okay. The other bags that I brought with me are my Gucci Blondie, love it so much, Kelly 28. 
1925, Innata, that spaghetti Bottega bag, my sparkling Prada, purple Chanel. This is a new bag. I haven't actually shown you unboxing of this because I've unboxed these on stories. When I say these, this is what, when I shown you my Venice vlog, I showed you what I actually, um, that I went to Saint Laurent. Somehow I fell and landed in one. So. so I bought this clutch, which I think is spectacular. It comes with the chain inside. It opens like this and there's the chain. This is like a very exquisite piece and i really love it i said them because i also got this clutch it also has a chain and it's so elegant so beautiful then this uh, jimmy Choo bonbon love it my celine triumph because i can't live without it and my celine box this is my boyfriend's <laughs> then somehow a cigarette box this is a new Fendi uh, baguette that I got for the show yesterday. You will see that in the actual vlog. Over here we have a bag that I wore today, which is my Birkin 30 in a top. Now, because I will not be showing you this in my fashion week vlog, I want to show you the shoes that I brought with me. We have my Hermes clogs. I wore them today. Then these are also the new sandals from Saint Laurent that I got. They're just fully in chain. Obviously not appropriate for the season that's coming, but they're so beautiful. Beautiful. I could not skip on them. Then we have my rainbow Aminas, these Balenciaga Carol sandals, mules, uh, my Jimmy Choo's Seda. Then these were the ones that I got a while back, the newest Bottega mules in sparkle. How beautiful are these shoes? Guys, I know they're from my last My Three Sock haul. I will link them below. I think they're the most beautiful shoes that I have. I also have a pair of new Mac and Mac. Look at this match and match. However, it's in Georgian. Please, one of my Georgian followers, if you can tell me how to pronounce it. Another pair of Saint Laurent's. These are my Prada loafers. Did you think that was it? <laughs> my Prada heels, Versace platforms, and a pair of sneakers because that's what we also need. There's a lot of clothes and this is, yeah, not even it. These are the clothes, like samples, fittings for, I don't know, events and things like that, evening events, day stuff. And we're back at the view. Gorgeous. Sorry, my friends and I were texting about the shows because we like to coordinate which shows, which brands we want to see in terms of like collections. I also always think like, what would you guys like to see so that I can show you that because there's only one me and there's like 25 shows a day. And I would like to kind of see them all if I could, but at the same time, I'm not going to overwhelm my audience, which is you guys, with multiple, multiple stories of shows when I think it's something that I should show you only the things that you guys would like to see. So anyway, I'm blabbing. Without blabbing, I know what you want to see and I'm very excited to show it to you too because it's something I've been wanting for a very long time and I know I often say this but when it comes to jewelry I don't just walk in the shop usually I don't just walk in and buy something I always like think about these purchases for a while and this is something that I was like okay I was going to buy it in Italy and then I had such a bad day <laughs> with the travel which you will if you haven't followed my stories you will find out more about it all on my YouTube channel as soon as the New York Fashion Week comes out I had such a bad day that I was like I need to brighten it up with something something that's kind of going to you know say that so I popped in I try on a few pieces I'll insert a picture I tried on a most beautiful white gold Pave Cartier bracelet mini one and I thought it was such a perfect match to my bracelet here so I really 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 wanted it but I just think that's like a love bracelet is something that should be with a bit of more occasion so I decided to get something else and like I said it's something that I've actually looked at for a long time now and it's matching it's from my second or third favorite Cartier collection and I'm talking about the Clash bracelet. Now I got this one which is the rigid one. It comes in two different kinds. There's the rigid one and there is the softer kind of the Clash bracelet. I really, really, really love it. I will link it below so you guys can check it out and shop it. I'd say the favorite piece of jewelry that I own, first of all, when it comes to sizes, mm -hmm. this one is size 16 and my love is size 17. And I think that's quite important to say because they are different sizes, but they fit perfectly one with another. I also tried different sizes. And besides that, I wanted to say that I think that, I don't know, like for me, I really love jewelry in general. You guys know that, nothing new. But when it comes to like pieces, I usually think like for a long time before I get them. And I like to kind of, you know, I liked it to sit in my head for a while. But my favorite piece of jewelry that I own, I would say, are you ready for this? Are my Clash earrings. Now here, 
they are i wear them all the time i will link them below i couldn't recommend anything more than these i just love the classic classic hoops i love how they look i i, I was just wearing them i actually took them out like a second ago because i kind of styled my ear game a little bit differently for the next show but honestly i love these so much and because i love them so much and i wear them all the time i wanted to kind of complete it with the bracelet now the next thing that i would like to get would be the clash necklace but i really feel super calm and happy with my collection at the moment i think that i don't really need anything else i love also how the clash ring looks like by the way this is not a ring this is the earring but i have it in white gold who remembers the unboxing and then in here it's the clash ring which i actually wanted to wear on my index finger so with clash collection i think it's so gorgeous and i strongly would recommend it i don't know if it's on your radar i mostly see a lot of love and a lot of justin clue around when it comes to cartier but i think that clash is a really something that is really cool and wonderful now look at this who is ringing i wonder my fendi look came to be picked up and um the reception cannot find it like why do, do these things happen sometimes obviously it's downstairs because we left it there like last night i believe right after the show but anyway i was saying that clash is something i recommend i love and i'm really happy that i had that slight delay because now i'm really 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 loving my new bracelet next on my wish list is the clash necklace not a super thick one that costs like 50k but the thinner one i also love like i i told you the pave thin love bracelet but i mean that's on to my boyfriend i'd say i stopped by at chanel because you know we love a bit of chanel you know at heathrow airport and i saw this bag i will insert a video here the most gorgeous mini flap in fully crystallized burgundy crystals and actually uh, it was around twelve thousand pounds but then when i thought about it and i was like well this is actually the price of like two kelly's almost i skipped on it and i ended getting a piece of eight wear that got me very excited for autumn and not just for autumn but also for ski trips now this is a knit that i got it's a stripy knit with the logo here but it's not like a too overpowering or big it's white and black and i think guys just imagine me at apra ski having like a little drink hot chocolate or tea skiing <laughs> literally i got this so my boyfriend back in the days uh, used to be a ski instructor i think or something like that maybe not a ski instructor but he was a swimming <laughs> instructor but then he would have his swimming um squad he would take them also skiing when he was very young like 20 and he always jokes that i'm like the least sporty person ever i mean he doesn't joke it's kind of borderline true and uh, i said oh my god i got a perfect knit for skiing and he was like you can't even ski of course i can ski not like on an instructor like pro level but i mean you know what i mean i can ski anyway so i got this and i really really love it and that's where i stopped with my shopping i'm not actually doing any shopping in new york partly because i have zero time to do that and also because it's just a little bit like inconvenient i have two huge suitcases full of stuff then i'm going to london i'm gonna pick up more stuff and then i'm going to milan and we arrived to New York, by the way, with one of my suitcases broken. Yep, luckily, Remoa immediately replaced the suitcase. Like, not broken, but it couldn't even stand because a whole wheel was missing. So we took it to um, the Remoa store and they replaced the whole suitcase because I was like, I cannot travel back with this. So anyway, that was it. Just basically wanted this video to be a little quick hi and bye because I didn't want you guys not to have a Sunday video, but the New York Fashion Week vlog is going to be a lot longer. So yeah, now I need to get ready. We're heading to a TV show.